Hi guys, Squad here, We're back with another episode of Trucking Diaries. Now, if you remember the last time, we just dropped off a trailer down there in the mist. That guy's still trying to pull that piece off the, uh, off whatever that is. I think that's why we delivered another, uh, tank, because another pressure tank, because I think he's going to replace it. Trouble is, he can't get the part off. Anyway, we're in Reading. Uh, let's have a look at the freight market. Uh, freight market. Uh, price per distance. I'll sort by price per distance. Uh, straight away, there's a diesel to San Rafael, which is down here. It's not bad. It takes us near the coast. That's actually a really interesting trailer. That's a, I think it's a three-axle trailer, and it's extra long. You can see the, the difference here between the, the diesel and the petrol. As a hazard class three, that's a class three as well. That's an important. That's interesting. I thought that important delivery would be worth more dollars per mile than this one. Apparently not. Cars down to Oakland, tableware down to San Fran. Fragile, important delivery. That sounds fun. Paying 7,900. Mmm. Mmm. That is tempting. Although the, the, the trailer's a bit more boring. I really fancy this trailer more. Uh, a, that pays more. And B, it's fragile, important. Which means we need to be very careful and need to be, you know, quite on time with it. And it goes to San Fran, so I might take that one. I'd love to have give, shown you that one, but I think I'm going to take this. San, San uh, Francisco is probably a nicer drive. It, we could, in theory, reroute through Stockton as well. Just to pick that up. So let's jump in the cab. Let's get us started up here. I'm hoping that mist is going to pick up as well. Looks clear. Uh oh, just saw a vehicle. Oh, <laughs> I just saw those lights appear. Sorry. I did look. We've got six hours to get to the pickup point, so it should be plenty. Well, there's a crunchy crunch. So, on our truck, we have done. 249 miles. Which is not bad. I cannot see what... Oh, yeah, there it is. It's green, just about. Those lights are not bright enough. Blimey. Yeah, this trailer... I think it might be one of the short wheelbase trailers we're picking up. Which are interesting to reverse because they they when you're reversing a short wheelbase trailer, which I think is what this table were is, they turn so quickly. Your your truck itself, the wheelbase of your truck is almost as long as the trailer. So, if you imagine the pivot point is almost halfway between front and back, and it makes for some fairly interesting turning. Let me tell you. Right, so we need to stop. Nothing coming. Turn right. I think we're going straight on, interestingly enough. Eddies. Yeah, this is actually a bit of a drive to the pickup point. Which is slightly annoying because it's just wasting our own fuel here. The sun is up. I think the mist is about to get burned. You are now leaving. Reading. Be careful here, because there are trucks coming out of this freeway. Turning left. Okay. On green. Man, this mist is fun, but it certainly makes things more difficult. It's like driving through thick fog, like soup. <laughs> Left turn, it's coming up. I can't for life me see where... Oh wow, is this it? 
that's it. Almost overshot that. Um, I guess it's inside the yard here. Table war, there we go. Uh, Reading to San Francisco. This is going to be some nice money. 7,000 and all. That's just... You can't even get close to that with a quick job. But, you know, 7,000 sounds like a lot. If you pick yourself up a... If a police sees you jump a red light or a, or a, a speeding, that's $1,400 fine. It's so harsh. In the early days. Little wonder there are so many mods available that turn off the police. Or make their fines cost a zero. Personally think SCS need to tune that a little bit. It wouldn't be so bad, apart from the fact there are so many cops on the road. There you go, it is a short trailer, look at a stubby trailer. There are just, I think there's only 20 vehicles currently in the game, AI vehicles, and so, you know, effectively almost 1 in 20 vehicles on the road is a cop. And each cop has the potential to fine you a lot of money. The net effect of that, in the early career levels, um, is it's very hard. Very, very hard to stay afloat. So people download mods that turn all that off because they don't like it. I'm not. I'm going to leave it on. As hard as it is, I'm going to leave it on. Same with the fatigue. I'm leaving that on too. Right, it looks like the draw distance is picking up. I can now see a lot further, <laughs> which is good. We've got to get over to Nevada though, you've got to see those sandstorms, they're fantastic. Moo! I've actually seen ranches in this as well, like horses and stuff, as well as cows. Can we get into 10th? We can. Right, that'll do. Let's lock in that cruise control. But yeah, you see on the display it says 52 in nice big numbers. I use that quite a bit. I know you can use the digital display, but I just, uh, the analog display, the dial, but I just like digital displays better. I don't know why. It's just a personal preference, I guess. Try not to crash this guy's table wire. Some very important porcelain in the back. Stay there, Mr. School Bus. Yeah, this run-on strip here, this should go off, like, to the right quite a bit more and then merge in, I think. And I don't really understand why they didn't do that. I don't see any reason why they did what they did. No, we just saw one cop on the road, and then one cop passed us. <laughs> Case in point, there are too many cops. Follow this cab. So 53, locking the cruise, that should do. Okay, let's have a look at what we're doing here. We've got to be there Saturday, 5 p.m. It's now Saturday a.m., so this is a day job. 297 miles. We don't need to rest for another 10 hours, so we're good. Get this thing delivered. Whoa, 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 whoa. What's with the brakes, broski? Don't be doing that to me. Morning! <laughs> Look at the land. Look how flat and open it is now. Out in the countryside again. 
I like driving into San Fran. It's going to be good. I wonder which bridge we're coming in from. I didn't actually notice. Oh, we're coming in from northeast side. We may not go over the bridge. That's fine. When you come in from the north, you go over the Oakland Bridge and the Golden Gate, but I don't think that's going to happen in this episode. It's actually going misty again. Look at this. Um, what's that RV doing? Oh, this is annoying because I want to get in that middle lane now. This lane's actually closing off as well. I don't trust this guy in front of me. Way station, one mile. Right, let's roll the dice, guys. Are we going to have to get off at this way station? Is there a cop car in the vicinity? I think we've got away with it. Oh, <laughs> you scumbag game. <laughs> Where's the cop? I don't even see the cop. Maybe it's just a random thing then. Unbelievable. Okay. Thank you for your cooperation. Have a safe journey. And thank you for your wasting your time. Whoa, wrong gear. Come on, Paul. What are you doing? Way to break your engine, bro. Okay, we can make that. Or rather, we can get just onto the tarmac to stop the AI, and then we can get on. Some of my favorite mods in Eurotruck were, um, for trailers especially, were, <clears throat> were produced by Jazzy Cat. He did these packs that just brought in ridiculous amounts of trailers. And apparently, I did wonder if he was going to... Oh, whoa, whoa, 35. I did wonder if he was going to um, produce trailer packs for ATS. And apparently somebody said that on a forum post he made, uh, he's, he's due to release some. Which is great news, because if he's porting over his, or creating some trailer packs for, for ATS, that's going to give us a huge amount of variety. Not only that, but just real company names, real American companies. Not just the fuel stations, but on trailers and stuff. You know, he's done packs that change AI cars, AI trucks, the trailers you can get in the job market, just all kinds of stuff. Guy was pretty busy on ETS, so if he's going to work on ATS, it's good. It's really good because we'll have a ton of variety. Funnily enough, I've not seen anybody have a go at producing a map extension yet, so <laughs> I guess that's going to take time. I'm going to stay in this lane. I'm not sure if that right lane is going to filter off on me yet. Sacramento. 5 south another thing I learned apparently the <clears throat> apparently the interstates never have traffic lights on them whereas freeways can and interstate numbers running north and south are odd numbered and east west are even numbered again it's you know I don't live in the states so it's just stuff I never knew all of that through comments from people which is really cool you learn interesting facts about other countries. Welcome to Sacramento. Welcome to, you need to change lane quickly. Whoa! <laughs> I went to the middle lane and he shot off to go on the exit. Unbelievable. Uh oh. Looks like me and this guy's having a bit of a duel. Now, ordinarily, I could flash this guy to tell him when he's he's free, but he'll pay no attention. Like, I could just go, you know, like that. A real truck driver at that point would move over, but not this guy.
Well, this is fun. Are you actually going to move over or not? Dude. There's cars behind you. I'm pretty certain they want to go past right now. Oakland, Stockton. One of these days I should just do a journey where I turn off the sat-nav. I don't know if you can actually in these trucks, in the built-in ones. But if you can just, just turn the sat-nav off. Or set a waypoint that's completely wrong, just so it takes you... And then just ignore the sat-nav. And see if you can get there on your own, just by reading the signs on the road. That could be fun. Could be a fun challenge. I don't think this guy's actually ever going to move over. I bet you're annoyed, aren't you? Yeah, you are. Yeah, I can see now. You're getting a bit impatient, aren't you? Pushing up on him. Oh, he's moved over. There you go. You're good to go, Merc. Put your foot down. Break those speed limits. Off you go. Engage warp speed. It's funny, since we've been doing trucking diaries, I think we've only seen it rain once. Which is <laughs> probably about right for a typical California week, to be fair. I actually need to look at my stats in a minute and see how many driving hours we've got. I'd be, I'm curious to know how many game days we've been driving, as it were. San Fran, one mile, we may be getting off in a minute. Okay, so this guy's now slowing down. I know this because I was cruise controlled. Oakland, San Fran, half a mile. Yep, here we go. I'm guessing this guy's going to get off, that's why he slowed down. Let's give him a bit of space. The speed he's going up that ramp. Come on, dude. If you just move up, that's perfect for me. Okay. Stop. Clear. Let's go. Alright, well that's the interstate section done. We're now approaching uh, Oakland. Which means we should be going over the Oakland Bridge. Which is always fun. I don't know, we're going back on the... We're going back on the, on the freeway. Hotel California. Isn't there a song about that from the Eagles? <laughs> that's gotta be. That's gotta be a uh, like an Easter egg, isn't it? Hotel California. Such a lovely place. There's plenty of room at the Hotel California. Any time of year, you can find me here, and so on. Yeah, here we go. Oakland Bridge. Fantastic. Steady up through here. Eat hole, $25. See you later, broski. Now we've got our own truck, we can actually seriously start thinking about um, planning our journey. Oh, hello. Planning our journey to pick up different roads and cities. What the heck? Did they just have a collision? That was weird. They must have bumped into each other. Okay. You guys just speed up. That's fine. Yeah, this is one of my favourite bits now of the game. This bridge going into San Fran. I love it. 
What a cracking view. Look at that. It's lovely. Of course, San Fran Airport is quite a few miles down that direction. So you can't see it from here, but you can often see the, the aircraft coming in, circling down. If you look at the sat now, we've got a little loop point and then the delivery's down there somewhere. So I'll put the retarder on. I know it's 55 down here, but that's a crazy speed for a truck, especially full of tableware. I'm going to stay in the right lane because I'm turning right at the bottom here. Yay! It's an interesting drop, that one. Yeah, the, the, the traffic lights in this don't stay on long enough. I think I saw a mod that alters the traffic light timing so that the red, amber, green stay on, you know, more realistic lengths. Because you often find yourself just stopping before that white line, getting ready to, um, to go and turn right on red, and then the lights just change anyway because the timings are all wrong. But this drive down here is never a dull drive. I love it. Get in that lane. Well, this one's going to pay quite nicely. So I reckon we've got maybe two or three jobs to do before we level up. And then when we level up, we'll unlock that extra point in the long distance. That's going to push us out to 600 mile deliveries, and that's going to be nice. Like, we're then in the realms of getting ten to $15,000 jobs. You know, important jobs, which is going to be great. Because the bank balance really will start to pick up then. Um, you didn't need to stop, sir. But okay. Oh, I love this delivery drop. It's in that warehouse. Now, this is actually normally quite a difficult drop, but this is a short trailer, so it's not so bad. But this drop in a, in a long trailer is actually quite tricky. Oh, it's a different one. Wow. I've never had this one. <clears throat> I always get one over there inside the warehouse. That's fair enough. Yeah, I'm used to parking, like, here on the left. Just where they are. <laughs> okay, start the turn. Plenty of room on that side. Like I said, the tricky thing here is the short wheelbase makes this thing turning just weird. I think I've got it wrong already. No, nope, I can bring it back. Just about, I think. Watch my truck on that side. I don't want to damage my truck. Not a lot of room down that side, I must admit. Flipping heck. <laughs> they don't leave you much room. Yeah, we're slightly wonky now. I think I'm going to have to go forward a touch. Straighten it off a little bit. That's better. There we go. We good! And break on. Mirrors off. There you go. Crushed container here on the left. <laughs> Why don't you two do some work instead of smoking a cigarette or whatever you're doing? Let's deliver that. Company collector, 8 of 15. Look at that. Look at the bonuses. 6,500 base, and then we get proficiency bonus for being our level 5. 
Long distance, 300. Fragile, urgent. And then a bonus for parking, 40 XP. So look at that. Quite feasibly, the next delivery we take will knock us into level 6. And if we have a quick look at our progress history here. Uh, total dri distance driven is 3,700. Total game time spent, 5 days, 7 hours. There you go. Playing time, 5 hours. So Trucking Diaries have been doing 5 hours of, of real time and five just over 5 and a bit days of um, game time. So we're coming up for our first week on the job. The end of our first week, we bought our own truck. Damage 1%, that's just general wear and tear, so that, we can't avoid that, unfortunately. But otherwise, you know, it's nothing, really. 27,000 in the bank. Uh, I don't think the first payment's even come out yet. Look at that. Which means we're actually well on our way just to even paying this thing off, which is pretty cool. I think I'm just going to save up the money. Um, possibly, like, in the general scheme of things, I think what we might want to do is just thinking about this, if we save up, we need 300 grand to buy our own truck and garage to get us another driver. So if we work on the basis of only wanting to take like a hundred thousand loan, another hundred thousand loan, then I would need to save up two hundred grand, which is a lot of money. But once we start getting fifteen grand jobs and twenty grand jobs, it won't take, you know, a stupid amount of time. It's either that or we accelerate and take a few one hundred thousand loans, but uh, we need to be careful because you know I'm playing it on max difficulty, as it were, and uh, we don't want to make ourselves bankrupt. That's the point because those monthly, those daily payments from the bank for the loans can really cripple you if you're not careful. Anyway, that's it for another episode of Trucking Diaries. I hope you enjoyed that one. Until the next one, guys, take care. Happy trucking.